Hello and welcome to the OTB channel, Old Tech Bloke. This is an additional video. As you probably know, people who've been watching this channel, I try and produce at least one video every Saturday. But this has been a fairly momentous week for the OTB channel. Up until Wednesday, I had 46 followers or 46 subscribers and I was quite pleased with that. I only launched the channel back on the 1st of June, I think it was. Um, as much to scratch a personal itch and find out if I could do it and get to grips with uh, video editing and producing videos. And I thought 46 subscribers was pretty good. I was on track, I thought, to get about 100 subs over the next couple of months. And maybe in a year, I might have three, four hundred. Well, I was sat at my desk here doing a little bit of work on Wednesday night. And uh, I got an email from my son saying, congratulations, 200 subscribers. I thought, what, what is he talking about? And I had a quick look on my phone. And actually... <laughs> I already had 250 subscribers and I spoke to my son and he told me that Derek from DistroTube had given me a mention. So obviously I, I went straight away and had a look at that and he did indeed. And Derek, I can't say thank you enough. And wow, I've spent the last few days watching subscribers flood in and I am now at, I'm just looking at the screen, in fact I'll switch over to it, 1,008 subscribers on Saturday morning. Wow, I thought it was going to take me at least a couple of years, maybe three, to get to 1,000 subscribers. So, um, brilliant, I'm a, a little bit blown away. Um, again, thanks Derek for that. Um, I'm sure you've helped me a lot. So with almost a thousand of you out there potentially listening to my videos, I th thought I'd better do a little bit of an update um, because not all of you will be aware of what this channel is about and, and what sort of content I'm going to produce. Well, in short, uh, just to let you know who I am, I'm not, I don't work in IT. I have done in the past. Uh, I worked for about five or six years, first as an IT technician, uh, mainly fixing Windows computers, and uh, eventually as an operations manager for a Linux server company, um, producing DNS servers and web caching servers. However, that was a management position. I wasn't a techie. Yes, I managed a development team, but I can't code. I did try to learn coding and three pages into the python for dummies book i got bored and put it down so i've never tried it again so i'm a desktop user and i've been using desktop linux since 2004 so that's 15 years now i've done my share of uh, distro hopping over the years um tried just about everything uh, though I've slowed down quite a lot over the last six or seven years and I've tended to stick with just one or two distros. If you've watched the videos that I've produced recently, I've recently installed Arch Linux, um, not Arch Linux, Debian Linux on an SSD that I have. Um, let me just get this. On one of these. Uh, this is an Orico uh, USB hub, dock, uh, which I've recently upgraded to. I used to have just a single IC box dock, but I got greedy and wanted more hard drives, so I've used that. I'm not getting paid anything for advertising, by the way. Um, I've just found it to be pretty good. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, initially when I installed Debian, I still had just the one spare SSD, and Arch had been on that SSD previously, which is another distro I like, but I blew it away and put Debian on. Very happy with that at the moment, but I've got more disks now to fill. 
So I'm sure Arch will end up going back on one of them. Um, what can I say? Uh, I will be producing content at least once a week. Unfortunately, uh, my working life during the week means that I spend most of Monday to Friday on the road and living in hotels. So I really only get Saturday and Sunday to produce content. That content is going to be various. I mean, I, I was just, as I said, scratching an itch before and producing what I thought might be quite interesting. Moving back onto uh, the web page, you can see that I've done a couple of uh, reviews, MX Linux last week, and I did Debian 10 uh, the week before. And given how many views that they've got, it's clear that people like distro reviews. So I'm going to do a few more of them. Um, I'm also, along the way, going to expand on the quick tips and quick fixes series that I've started. I haven't got a plan. It's as I come across things and try and fix it, or them, uh, I'll produce a video about it. I see that my least loved videos uh, are my Slackware series, and I'm not surprised, to be honest. Um, Slackware is pretty much of a, a niche distro, and I produce those videos, well, for me, because I wanted to. Uh, I still run Slackware 14.2 on my laptop, um, which is a little ThinkPad X260, and I'm looking forward to the release of Slackware 15 when we finally get it. Uh, and I will probably still produce bits and pieces of niche stuff here and there. But I'll be guided by what you guys want. So, um, that's me. Just to give you an idea of what I actually use. I consider myself more of a hardware enthusiast than a coding enthusiast, that's for sure. Um, and I haven't got anything special. Uh, I think the most expensive item on this desk is my blue yeti microphone a few people have mentioned or made some very kind comments uh, over the last couple of de days that the sound quality is very good on these videos i can't really take uh, any of the praise for that i took the blue yeti out of the box i put it on a boom arm i switched it on that was it uh, it's a very good microphone seems to do well. The centerpiece of my uh, hardware is a small Intel NUC with an i5 processor, 16 gig of RAM and a 500 gig NVMe drive. I do dual boot, I do use Windows, um, not all the time but for work. Uh, I have to have access to Microsoft Outlook and also OneDrive for work so it's just handy to have it on my computer. And I find it useful for doing such things as upgrading the firmware on SSDs and upgrading the BIOS. It's just easier. But Linux is what I love. I don't use it at work and I don't use it exclusively. I like all things tech. So, for instance, I have an iPhone. For work, I have an Android phone. I have a laptop that runs Linux and Windows. I have a MacBook Air, which stays downstairs and I open up when I'm sitting down in front of the TV just to check my emails. But Linux is where I play and Linux is what I want to produce videos about. I may occasionally go off in other directions, but broadly speaking, Linux will be what my channel is about. In terms of the hardware, since I produced the first video on the 1st of June, I've bought a few extra items. Um, I initially had uh, Blue's own boom arm for the mic, but the clamp, it's clamped to my uh, windowsill, I'm afraid, because there's not a lot of room, as you can see. The clamp wasn't very stiff, and I'd set the microphone, and it kept moving of its own accord. So I've recently bought one of the Rode PSA, PSA-1 arms. Um, I found uh, some uh, damaged stock on eBay. It cost me about £40. A lot of people seem to use it. 
and it's got a much uh, stiffer base. You really have to push it to make it move, which suits my setup because my windowsill isn't that flat, but I can move it into position and it stays there. I've bought myself a camcorder. Um, I tried it last week for uh, as a webcam, as I bought an Elgato uh, web link. I wasn't that impressed, to be honest. Uh, I think the quality of the Canon, uh, which is Allegria HFR606, um, didn't cr come across as well as the C920. So I'm going to stick with the C920 for the time being. Um, I've now got four additional hard drives in addition to uh, the 500 gig, 500 gig NVMe uh, SSD in the Intel Nook so it gives me a bit more scope for actually doing hard drive installs as well. My next set of upgrades may be a while coming because I've run out of money <laughs> but what I would really like to do is I'd like a third screen. Um, I believe I can run three screens off the Intel Nook but I would have to daisy chain them off the USB-C port and I'm not going to be able to afford uh, three screens, all that have uh, input and output ports on them, because that tends to be the very high end. So I'll probably purchase a StarTech hub, which allows me to do the same thing. And I'm currently looking at perhaps upgrading in the near future to a DSLR, possibly a Canon 200D. Uh, certainly second hand, I can't afford a new one, but I'll keep you updated. So that's me. Welcome all my new subscribers to, to the new channel. Um, it, it, it's a funny thing. Uh, my wife has been saying to me every time she saw me head upstairs to uh, the third bedroom where I have everything set up. Oh, you're going upstairs talking to yourself again and rolling her eyes. And today she said, hmm, you might not be talking to yourself today. Well, I hope not. <laughs> but anyway, that's it for the quick channel update. Um, I'll produce something every week. It will be Linuxy. I haven't got an agenda. It will probably be about what I come across during the week that's particularly interested me. I'm going to get on now and I'm going to produce the content for the weekend which is a little bit of a distro review, but a very interesting one, and you should see it up in an hour or two. So thanks very much, everybody new who's joined me. Hope it was a good decision. And again, Derek from DistroTube, thanks very much, mate. Cheers. <laughs>